Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an overlay to your live streams in XSplit. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily, I highly suggest getting XSplit. Now, I used to use OBS, and OBS, to be honest, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with, to set up, to get the settings that you want. But XSplit is incredibly easy to resize images, to change settings to basically get things how you want them to be. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit ASAP to go and download XSplit. You can also use my discount code JCarterAy to get 10% off. So do yourself a favor, go get XSplit today, jump start your streaming career, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit, use code JCarterAy for 10% off. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add your own overlay across your live streams in XSplit. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, your overlay needs to be a PNG file. Now, if you don't know what a PNG file is, Google it. <laughs> but what it is, is it's basically a transparent image or an image that has no background and to create your overlay you can use any image image editor that allows you to actually save it in a png file there are some online services that allow you to create pretty good overlays if you want a video on that i can go really in depth into how to create an overlay but in this video we're going to use a really really simple overlay which basically just has text on it and i would advise you to use a really simple overlay as well because you don't really want to take a bunch of attention away from the gameplay and your commentary so you really don't want to go overboard and make your stream just look super noisy and have a bunch of stuff there because it might just end up looking tacky so let's open up xsplit here we have xsplit we also have our current subscriber number over here i will be doing a video on how to have your subscriber number appear and update if that's something you'd be interested in please comment down below so i know that people want that but for this video we're not going to go that deep into that because i need to do a little research into how you download Streamlabs and how that actually works. So I can explain it for someone who's a first time user because I currently have Streamlabs and the files have been on my system for a while. So it's easier for me to get set up than someone coming from day one. But let's show you my overlay. We'll bring up Photoshop real quick because I just wanted to show you what an overlay kind of looks like. This is just text. This is just text and then we've got no background. So generally when you open up a new Photoshop or a new project in any image editing software, you'll have a background and you can turn off the background by just getting rid of the eye next to it there and that will get rid of the background and as you can see when you see this checkerboard you know that the background's no longer there so now we have an image which has just text and we've got rid of the background then if you save it as a png so we'd go to save as and we'd just save it as a png not a jpeg if you save it as a jpeg your background will just be white and it will cover everything that you want to actually see you go down to png where where are you png there we go, PNG, and then you click save. We're not gonna save because I've already saved this. And then you'll be able to use this for your stream. And what you do is you go to add source, and then you go to media file. And then here you actually search for the file that you want to use. So we'll go to documents, we'll go to stream and overlay. Your documents may be different. And then we'll go to the 2017 arc overlay. I need to update my overlay, but I'll save that for the video where I teach you how to create an overlay because that will just kill two birds with one stone. Let me know if you want that in the comment section down below. So here we have our overlay, we'll open it and it will immediately appear on our screen here in our XSplit profile. And then we just need to size it up. We just need to size it up so that it fits with everything. And XSplit's really good 
with sizing up and stuff because you can just do this really really easily you don't have to get in and deal with all the numbers and deal with that sort of stuff which you have to do in obs as far as i remember so we have this here and then we'll just size down our actual subscriber number so we'll bring that below that so we can actually click on this and we'll try to make it like the same type of size really you'd want to make this text the same as this text but it's not super necessary but i would suggest it but we're not going to get into that right here we'll do that in another video if we get into you know how to have your subscribe account show up on screen but here we have our overlay there our overlay is ready ready to go and we can go ahead and stream now if you want to add your camera to this and you want your camera to be over your overlay then you just need to bring your overlay down in your actual profile here so you want this to be pretty much as low as possible and then anything you want on top of it you want that to be above this right here so if we brought this down below the actual capture we won't actually see it because now it's in the background so we want it above the capture but behind your camera or anything like that that would be on top of your overlay so alerts that sort of stuff i will make a video on how to show you alerts if that's what you want as well leave all these suggestions in the comment section down below whichever gets the most requests and that sort of stuff i'll focus on making those videos first but i hope this video has helped you out i've showed you how to apply your own overlay to your xplit stream if you got any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make please leave those in the comment section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i will see you in the next xsplit streaming tutorial peace out if you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment. Or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you